Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into channel McFay, where manifestations come fast and easy when love is aligned with the mind. My name is Nani Ojibe, but you can gotta call me Yay. Now if this is your first time tuning into the channel, please make sure you show some love and like. And if you're feeling the vibe, go ahead and subscribe because this channel is all about spiritual development and self-improvement. So with that being said, Today in this video, I want to talk about my meanings, like my definitions I have whenever I see these repeating numbers and I see them all the time. I want to share what I believe they are because really it's all about our beliefs. And every time I search a meaning to these repeated numbers, they're all the same. So I just want to give my two cents and if it resonates with you, great. Go ahead and believe it, embrace it, and watch the manifestation come. Or if not, then, you know, go ahead and share it. Your homie might like it. All right? So stay tuned. Hey, guys. Welcome back. All right. So today in this video, we're talking about my definition of these repeating numbers that I seriously see all the time. It's crazy. And I'm just going to do the basics, you know, 111, 222, 333, like just the simple ones. And to start, I'm going to be doing this backwards because 111, like the ones are the most common one. But how that's at the top, the bottom is also very powerful as well. And that brings me to the nines. 999 so what does 999 mean so just how i believe one kind of means alignment nine means full circle when you see nines i think it means like completion nine itself is a very powerful number like i believe it's probably the most powerful because it's like at the end and the end means death it means like transformation it means like going back to the all. But nine to me is a very powerful number in itself because anything you add to nine and then simplify it, you're going to get the number itself. Like nine is basically like a reflection number. Like for an example, let's start easy. You do like nine plus two and you get 11. Add the 11 together, one and one, that'll get two. And you can do, keep doing that. Do nine plus five and you get 14. One plus four equals five. And nine is so dope because I remember you can always do your timetables. You can always do the nine timetables on your finger. It's like if you do nine times four, one, one, two, three, four, you put the four finger down and then you count what's ever left. So we have one, two, three. So it's three and then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So nine times four is 36. Or if you do nine, isn't that crazy? Or if you do nine times six, you put down the six finger and then you count one, two, three, four, five. So five, one, two, three, four, four. Nine times six is 54. So nine is a very magical spiritual number. And my definition of seeing a nine over and over, that means like you're going through a trans transformation stage and it's coming to completion. Like you're ready to see yourself you're ready to be shown and to grow within the next part of your life so if you keep saying nine i see you you're about to glow baby you're about to glow up the transformation is about to be real and my next one if you see eight 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 my eight is very powerful in itself like the whole history of eight especially within the asian culture means it's all the same like it's all kind of cohesive it's all it's all related it means luck now 888 in my definition it means luck is happening like you're about to get lucky like good luck is coming your way like an overwhelming amount of just goodness and positivity is coming into your life whenever you see any eights like that i would say three or more that means you about to be on your way like quick story i remember when I was on my way to this job interview and I saw 888, like the building next to it, the numbers was 888 and it was like a big statue of the address, it was 888. So I just was like, okay, I'm about to get lucky. Like that's what's up, so it's about to happen to me. And I went to that job interview. Great, long story short, for I had like interviewed for one position 
and they had told me like eh, you didn't get it you didn't get that job sorry so I was like kind of bummed but then I also know things be working out for me so I, I was like okay something better is in store I saw the AAA so that means I'm still lucky it just I guess wasn't that position I don't know I just you know I just always stay positive but well, like a week later that same job caught me for a better position that paid more money and was a lot more flexible than the position I had interviewed for and they gave me that one like on the spot <sighs> like those numbers were talking to me 888 just means overwhelmingly luck I testified to that that's what I believe 888 means now sevens is seven 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 is always like a spiritual number some people tie sevens to luck I guess because the casino world don't have them trick you seven is a spiritual number and it means like your highest power is talking to you. your highest power is around you and within you it means that you're walking the path of greatness and success like you're following your ancestors guide you're following them you're listening to them and you're paying attention and you're on basically the right path so like you're on your way to success or you whatever your desired outcome or result is when you see 777 that means like it's it's on its way it means like release all doubt release the doubt release the fear because you are on the right path now for the next one the infamous one that one i don't even really care to say it <laughs> But when I see it, it doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. If anything, I just means it's like a wake up call. Like, something not right. Get it together. What are you doing? You're not thinking right. You're not thinking like you're thinking negative or something's got a hold of you. Something's not too positive. Something's not happening. Switch it up. Like, be aware of your thoughts. Move in a different path. When I see those numbers, it's not necessarily fear that comes about, but it's just like a wake up call. Like I said, like I need to put some things into consideration. Like what's what's really going on? What am I really thinking? What is this real emotion I'm feeling? Am I feeling envy? Am I feeling hate? Am I feeling just negative emotions? You know, anger, sadness, gluttony, greed. You know, like what's what's really good? When I see those numbers, it's like the angels telling me to let that go because Oh, right now something's not right right now you you dealing with the sins right now like, it's the universe telling you that you need to get it together because you got you got things to do so you don't got time for this that's how I feel whenever I see that number now five 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 now, whenever I see five 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 like 555 on the time or just an address or a car park passing by I take that as an indication that my life is changing like change is on its way whenever i see 555 and i believe that means change is coming change things are moving you don't really see it but like behind the scenes you know they they're changing the set and then when they open the curtains back up it's going to be a completely different scene that's how i feel when i see five and it's a blessing when i see that i'm in a good mood i'm doing things for the better i'm you know taking care of myself a lot of self-care self-love so when i see 555 I, it's like a blessings a beautiful sign meaning like things are coming to fruition things my life is changing it's going to be changing for the better because that's what i'm putting out there i'm putting out words and loves and affirmations for the better so if it's changing that's where it's going now 444 i say 444 a lot all the time too because it's 444 like you see it i see it on the time i catch it both times it's crazy that i'll be up that late <laughs> but when I see 444, oh, I love it. I love to see that because that just means that angels are all around me. And I picture it like I have angels like just in my in my zone, like just in my environment, in my area. And they're just loving me and blessing me like in that moment. They're sending their guidance and they're sending their love to me. So if I ever feel like I'm struggling or I'm doubting something, I'm just stressed, I feel like it's like a check-in like I love you like the angel sent sent me a text like hey I'm thinking about you and it lets me feel like I'm not alone or I'm not doing this alone like I have help I have guidance I have support with me so that's how I feel whenever I see 444 it just means the angels are around me and they're blessing me they're giving me love and encouragement and they're just inspiring me and 
motivating me to just keep going on the right path. Keep doing good. Keep doing what's right. Just keep sending love out. So when I see 444, that's what I believe. 333, another powerful number, kind of similar to the 444, but a little different because this one means like our ancestors are all around us, our kings and queens and ones that were here before us that were shining light on us, the ones that were so strong, the kings and the queens, the royalty, the ones that walked so I could run, they're with me, they're with me, they're shining their love on me and they're telling me to step it up. They're giving me support, like work harder, like you got this, don't give up, go at it and just keep going strong, keep going strong. Whenever I see 333, it's like tough love. It's like the 444 was just like embracing like just love and positivity, rainbows and sunshines. But 333 is more like, like your coach that's making you do 20 laps because they know it's gonna make you stronger and better at the end. So that's how I feel when I see 333. It means like, all right, I got to step it up. I got real ones, you know, looking looking at me and making sure I'm doing good. I got leaders, real leaders, real kings and queens looking at me to make sure I succeed. So I need to go ham. <laughs> that's pretty much how I feel when I see 333. And two, 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 two. This is a favorite of mine as well. I see it all the time, and I love this number because I just saw it the other day. Like I was reading a book, and the page I happened to stop on was two, two, two. Like there's no coincidence. There's no such thing as coincidences. So whenever you see these numbers, it is a sign. And two, two, two. And when I see two, 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 that just is a it's a sign. It's just an indication for me to have faith. Have faith. Like in anything and everything basically just let go surrender trust have faith it doesn't necessarily have to connect to a certain situation or experience you're going through in your life right now i don't connect it to that i connect it to just like a reminder a reminder from the lord up above a reminder from my spirit within just to have faith because faith is going to move mountains they say you only need faith as small as a mustard seed in order to make things happen, in order to make your dreams come true. You just have to have just tiny bit of faith. So when I see 222, I believe that's telling me to have faith, telling me to let go, telling me to surrender, telling me to trust because I got this. And for the last one, the most famous one is 111 or 1111. Well, I see 111 all the time. I'm sure you guys do too. But 111 to me is exactly what you want it to be. Like 111 is to me is like the mystery one. It just means like blessings. It just means like synchronicity and you know, your spirit and the universe is aligned. Just a realization. It's just love is here. Love is on a way. Like you're doing it. You're creating. You're manifesting. You're believing. You're receiving. You're blessed. You're grateful. You're thankful. Like <laughs> one 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 just means all those things. It just means all things positive. And if you see that one one one, you're seeing it for a reason. Embrace it. Love it. Feel it. Ponder in it. And get immersed in it. And just relax in it because the universe got you. The universe got you. That's how I feel. Basically, it's like a pat on the back. Like you're doing a good job. The universe got you. Synchronicity is like salt being your desires. <laughs> so those were my definitions of seeing these numbers. Let me know what you think. Did they resonate with you at all? Have you heard things similar? Or are they completely different from what you heard? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Again, if you stay to this point, you are the real MVP. I appreciate you and I will see you all next week. Bye.